we have uh, businesses that would like to do work with some of these agencies. There are some agencies and there's some customers that are not identified on that list. If they're not identified on that list, it's because you haven't communicated to us what those, who those agencies should be. So we have those in individuals on this list. On the right, you'll see some of the prime contractors that will be marketing. And we're pleased to be uh, recognizing Roger here uh, with Mortensen. We have Centennial, uh, Dick Letts with Centennial. So we're really, it's, it's a really great opportunity for us to create some, some meshing and some synergy with these various organizations. And in future meetings, we'll have some of these other prime contractors available. Next slide. Uh, the initial general business services and training that we're going to be providing, number one, for all of our businesses, we kind of have our own little intake process, and we'll want to make sure we understand your business. Now, many of you were invited by me, so you have a relationship with me. I know you. Um, but there may be some areas around your business that I'm not familiar with, hence why this document is in front of you, and hence why we have this illustrious board who be able to provide more perspective than my my own uh, independent perspective. The second item is business planning. Um, a lot of our businesses have some ideas of what we want to do with our businesses, but we haven't articulated into a written document. So we'll want to make sure that our organization is providing those resources to help you update your information. On the administrative and professional services, our hope is to be able to provide that back office support. We have an accounting uh, firm that has provided uh, some information and about their organization, and they would actually like to serve our members at a discount. So there may be some opportunities to do that. And my hope is that we could do a quarterly assessment of our businesses. So we can be looking at uh, some of our projections and actually look at that comparison and be a part of EIW's growth uh, management campaign around your businesses. Obviously, there's a lot of different areas within, within the administrative and professional services, and we have folks here that can uh, expand on some of those areas. We talked about public works contracting. A lot of my interest is really around making public works contracting a more friendly environment for our small businesses. And when I use the term contracting, not all contracts are in construction. So again, I want to create an opportunity for our businesses to work in a more friendly environment for business. Uh, research. A lot of us don't have the staff to do the research, to attend all these various meetings. So EIW wants to act as a, a resource to you and for you. So you can provide us with some of the priorities and some of those meetings that you must have representation at, but you have another meeting to be at. So we need to work and consolidate our resources so we can be multiple places at one time. Data and calendar management. Many of you, I've sent multiple uh, invites about this meeting. Some of you, I'm sending emails. Some of you, I'm texting. Some of you, I'm calling. Some of you, I'm knocking at your door, tracking you down. Um, to me, we need to have a better process. Um, we need to be using technology to be able to simplify this process. You need to know that there's a contract that bids next week. You need to know that there's a pre-bid tomorrow. You need to know that the RFI cutoff for that project was two weeks ago. We need to be able to have an organization to be able to provide that type of organizational structure to you. And that's what we're talking about doing through EIW. That means you're going to need to communicate with the IW, though, doesn't it? But if we use it effectively, imagine the opportunities. You can actually go to your EIW calendar and see opportunities rather than having to do the, the research that you would typically have to do. So we're talking about streamlining your business organization, helping accelerate the growth process. Estimate and budgeting. And by the way, Richard, I, I was going to tell you, I, Rory said he would love to participate in the estimating uh, class. So one of the first projects that we would like to do is identify a construction project that has multiple trades. What trades? Well, what trades are you in? That's what our focus is. One of our first projects that right out of the pipe is to identify a project that incorporates some of those trades that your businesses perform and provide a uh, real, uh, real personal hand-in-hand 
hand uh, walk, walk through that process to be able to develop a comprehensive estimate that's going to be on a real project that one of our contractors is working on. So we really want to do things outside the box. And out active learning is something that's always been helpful for me. And I talked also about the alternative bid process. And we have individuals like Robin who have a great deal of knowledge and information about those processes. So.